them to take a moment, read the problem, and try it out. Press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so we're told that the population of Jamesburg for the years 2010 to 2013 was reported as follows. So here are those populations. They want to know how can this sequence be recursively modeled. So um, I'm not even going to look at choices um, two or one. Right? I'm not going to do that because those are not recursively defined sequences. A recursively defined sequence defi requires you to define the first term and then every term after that. So it's got to be one of these two. I can also quickly reject choice four because look at the difference between these two. It is 937. But the difference between these two numbers right here, if you subtract them, you get 942, which is not 937. And here, you get 944. And in fact, the differences are increasing more each time. So the only choice would have to be choice 3. And if you divide um, subsequent terms, you get about, each time, about 1.00375. 0, each time you're going to get that. So for example, if I divide 251,000 by 250,000 here, I get about 1.00375. And if I divide 252,000 by 251, of course, it's exactly 252. 822 and 251878. If I divide those two, I'm going to get about 1.00375 each time, which means I start at 250, that's what this is saying, the first term is 250, and then I multiply by 1.00375 uh, by each previous term after that. So if I want to find, after the first term, I, I, so for the second term, let's say that, for the second term, I multiply it, to find it, I multiply the previous term, which would be the first term, by 1.00375. To find the third term, find j sub 3, I'd multiply 1.00375 by j sub n minus 1. n is 3, 3 minus 1 is 2, so by j 2, the second term. In other words, if I want to know what this term is, I multiply it, I multiply the previous term by 1.00375, and so on and so forth. Now, to look at another reason why we would reject choice one here, this is saying that essentially the same thing, right? You start off at 250,000, and if you plug in one for n, one minus one is zero, and this base to the zero power is just one, so you get 250,000, and then if you plug in two, you get two minus one here, and 1.00375 to the two minus one is just 1.00375 to the first, times 250,000, it does get you this term and so on and so forth. But it's not a recursive model. And also if you think about, uh, it wouldn't really model this sequence if you let n go below um, below one. If n is zero, you get zero minus one, which is negative one, and then this would essentially take 250,000 and divide it by 1.00375, which does follow the sequence here. It just goes, in, abstractly speaking, it would, taking this number and dividing it by 1.00375 gets you another number that follows that pattern, but it's not modeling the sequence. The recursive pattern here specifically starts at 250,000, so you know it's not defined before that, and it, it defines this really well. But the true giveaway, again, that you don't choose choice one or two, you're looking for a recursive model where you're given the first term, definition of the first term, and then what each subsequent term would be from that, or you're given the first two terms or three terms or something, and you're told everything is after that. It's recursive. Each step builds on the previous value. All right, hope that helped.